Right, quick, quick mic check from yourself, mate. Just one, two, one, two. For me? No, for Mike. <laughs> Just for me, yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two. My name is Mike Ruddock, uh, Development Director at Ospreys Rugby and it's my role to oversee the Player Pathway Programme, uh, the PPP and to make sure we've got an integrated uh, approach to player development. I think what sets the Ospreys apart, uh, Academy apart really is you know, the delivery of the programme at the moment. We, we really think it's a high performance culture, a high performance programme full of really, really top practitioners, you know, ex-international players, ex-Ospreys who are helping to deliver um, a lot of learnings, a lot of experience for these young players. You know, there's a, there's a war for talent out there and uh, it's important really that we maximize uh, every aspect of our program. We need to make sure that we can attract uh, the best talent to the Ospreys and also retain uh, the best talent in the Ospreys. So um, the rationale behind it really is to make sure we are as good as we can be, to make sure then that we deliver a program uh, and recruit uh, and attract the sort of players, particularly if they're Welsh qualified into the programme, they'll end up making them the best they can be as well. So, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding, you can already see all those, their great work, a number of players coming through into the first team, playing first team rugby. Uh, just recently we saw a number of academy boys making their debut. And ultimately we've got a, a head coach with a vision who's, uh, you know, wants to mould a team around his style of rugby and he's not afraid to pick some of the younger players so obviously uh, you know that's great news to our academy personnel um, it really sort of uh, motivates everyone to keep pushing on and uh, push for a, a place in the first team and uh, you know we delight with that i think what we're doing really is looking at how we can build relationships build networks uh, build partnerships reach out and uh, be as proactive as we can really to try and attract talent into the area uh, as part of our player uh, pathway and um, we're also maximizing obviously the outputs of our academy program as well so it's aligning those two aspects the excellent work that we see in the academy and the excellent outputs that we get from the academy in terms of players uh, coming through the first team we've got a, a really strong partnership with swans university for example and uh, at all times when we're talking to young players so if you can uh, you know, stay involved in third level education or uh, work with our colleges um, in terms of the A levels and B techs as well. We think that's really, really important. Uh, so we encourage our players as much as we can to stay in education for as long as they can. Having said that, that might not be for everyone. So, you know, what we try and do that too is design bespoke programs, really individualized, tailored programs for everyone, really. Uh, very often working around their educational. Uh, commitments, but also then to maximize the opportunities for guys who really just want to focus on, on rugby itself. Well, as I said earlier, what we'd like to do is make sure that we help the players become the best version of themselves. And, uh, you know, it's a holistic approach built on a number of key pr pillars and principles and uh, is delivered by excellent coaching team. Uh, Gareth Walters, our academy player manager, is you know, very experienced and uh, an excellent uh, practitioner. So again, you know, everyone is looked at on an individual basis. Uh, how can we help the individual to grow on the field in terms of their own progress uh, and their own development? But also if they need assistance then in terms of lifestyle um, support, educational support, right the way across the board so that we are helping those young players become the best version of themselves.